This is a demonstration of the Rally Up Live uh, and how to uh, use it on uh, 12 car rallies. Uh, the first thing you do is register online uh, to indicate that you're going to take part in an event. Uh, and then when you're on the event, we'll assume this is the start of the event. And the first thing you're going to need to do is to open the app and press start. There you have a list of clubs. The LCC is Look for Car Club, so we select that one. And at this point, you input the mobile number, which is assigned to the registration that you made prior online. OK, having done that, we now have a yellow screen, meaning we're in the time control. This will be the start of the event. Um, and the main uh, time control is signified by an orange square in the middle of the screen. Our due time to leave is 10.11 on the screen, so we have 10 seconds to go. There'll probably be a marshal at the start point, and as it comes on to the next minute, there we are, it's now 10.11, we can press the main time control, it's saying do we want to confirm that as our time to leave, and we press yes, and we're off. The first section contains a long way round a triangle and so that's the first thing that we will have and one would expect there to be a, a passage check on the long way round the triangle. If that comes up you will see a blue triangle momentarily on the screen. Here's the long way round the triangle. So we're turning right and as we approach the passage check, it turns yellow to say we're approaching. There's the blue triangle and we've passed the route check. There's no need to do any other thing than just note that it's been recorded. It's been picked up on the bottom of the screen as a PC1 and that's all you need to worry about. The route instructions for this section say that the next time control is in a lay-by which we're approaching. As we get close to it, the screen will change to yellow to say that we're about to come into the control area. There we are, the screen has gone yellow. I happen to know that the control is in this lay-by, so we'll go in. There we are, the red hexagonal has come up saying timing point in. We're actually wanting 13 uh, sorry, 10.14 as the minutes, so we have 10 seconds to wait. We'll assume that the marshal will be here as well and we'll make a recording of what time we arrived. There it is, it's now 14, we're into the minute, we can press the hexagonal button and we can confirm by pressing the green button there to say that we've gone through this control and it's picked it up on the bottom of the screen. For the purposes of this demonstration, the next time control, we should be there at 10.15. We're obviously not there yet and we're going to miss it. The minutes elapsed to 10.16. So we're approaching the control and we will be late. So we will have dropped the minute. We're looking now for the control board. And as you approach the control, there'll be a yellow screen come onto the phone. There's the yellow screen, we're approaching the control, as we're late, we're already well into the next minute, there's the timing point, we just press that, confirm it, and we can go straight on. We didn't need to stop because there was no handout there, and we obviously dropped time. So that's concluded that time control which has then been recorded. From the way to the next time control, and there could well be a passage control on this section, we don't know where the passage check is, but again the phone will go yellow, there's the screen going yellow. We're approaching, there's the route check. The blue triangle appeared momentarily and has gone, and it's recorded that we passed it on the screen. The next time the control is approaching, there it's gone yellow. We actually want 10.20, so there we are, we're in the timing point, we 
we've got five seconds to wait it's now gone to 10.20 we're in the control we'll assume that the marshal would be here and has recorded our arrival we press the confirm button green as well to record it and that's been recorded and it's on the screen we're on our way to the next time control and this section of the route involves a loop so one could expect there to be a passage check on this section of the route and as again on the previous ones when we reach the passage check it will approach as yellow there it goes as yellow and there'll be a blue triangle appear as we pass through the point we don't need to stop it will be recorded there's the blue triangle and it's been recorded and we can carry straight on it's recorded on the bottom of the screen as well that we've just passed PC6 we're approaching a time control we're due there at 10.24 currently it's 10.23 and 35 seconds uh, we know it's just at the way here we should be okay but we carry on until we see the actual control board on the side of the road we're looking for the approach there it's gone to the approach colour of yellow and we're approaching the control we want 10.24 which it is now and here's the control pull off the road 1024 is what we want, that's what we've got. We can press the red hexagonal to confirm TC7, yes, and that's been recorded at the blue in the blue at the bottom. We're now approaching the final control. We want to be there at 1027. It's currently 1026 and 21 seconds. Approaching, it goes to yellow. When we arrive at the timing point, 1026 still, we want 1027. There we are, here's the main time control now. In this case, you'll see that it's gone to orange, not red. We want 1027. So we now wait for the minute. Five seconds to go. We're now into 10.27, we can press main time control, confirming that's yes, and we've now finished the event. We can now press finish in the top right hand corner, it's saying do we want to log out, the answer is yes. Do we want to clear the saved data, the answer is no, because then we've got it down here as a check that our, what our times are in case there's any disputes at a later point. So that concludes the demonstration of the Rally App Live.